And taking a live look at our state capitol, there's a heavy police presence for the inauguration. This evening, things are calm, but earlier a small group of protesters walked through the streets and at one point briefly faced off with police. KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano live at the state capitol for us right now. Andrea? Yeah, Alan, it has been an eerily quiet day here at the state capitol all day today. Normally at this hour, you would no see some people leaving their offices, heading home, but instead there's just a heavy police presence here. As you can see behind me, National Guard troops are here. The CHP has this capitol building surrounded, and a lo lot of local law enforcement officers have saturated this area. But earlier today, there was a protest. Roughly 50 protesters dressed in black marched around the state capitol just hours after the inauguration ceremony in Washington, D.C. Chanting no justice, no peace, they peacefully approached the capitol building where they were greeted by a heavy presence of law enforcement officers and the National Guard. By early afternoon, this crowd was gone. I was kind of hesitant about coming, but I was reassured that there's no protesters around or anything like that. Supporters from both sides, though, could be seen walking around the capitol. Tyler, a Trump supporter, still believes the former president should be in the White House. Now, if they stole the election like they did, we see nobody wants to investigate all the all the fraud that we're seeing. All the stuff's getting pulled out of t underneath tables. It's ridiculous. Those around the Capitol today say they do feel safe with the extra presence of law enforcement in this area and throughout downtown Sacramento. This inauguration day has brought hope to some that the country will see progress in the next four years. Hey, we're really bottoming out right now. You know, the death rates are higher than they've been at any point. Um, and frankly, I think the end of the Trump administration represents the point at which the most damage has been done and needs undoing. Now, there have been rumors that there will be another gathering here tonight, but a lot of the people I talked with, including business owners in this area, are hoping that this police presence will deter them from coming out. Reporting live in Sacramento, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.